All right, what's up my Destiny dudes? As you can see from the gameplay video, this is a anti-meta-ish type of video about the trustee. Now, I'm making this because this uh, particular weaponry is available for crafting now in the Deepstone Crypt. So if you got a team together and you are available to farm this particular weapon, it is worth your time to give it a shot if it has the perk Incandescent. I was playing around with it, and I was able to get a lot of runs going, especially in this meta where people are all grouping up. Now, you guys know that I don't necessarily like lane gameplay. I really prefer more dynamic movement. <clears throat> but I decided that if I could get something that would at least mess with people enough, both, you know, as they're aiming at me in a lane, for example, these high-impact pulse rifles, the three-round burst, what they can do is they can really tool-tap you, but if you have the ability to disrupt a single burst of their fire, then a lot of the time you're gonna win, even if it's with a high impact scout like this. As you can see right there, he was missing one burst and I was able to win that engagement because of that. Now, if there are two of them, you're gonna struggle a little bit because the time to kill is not quite as fast. But the beauty is this will force you to play with your teammates. Now, the lobbies that I play in are a little bit on the higher level, so people are really intelligent with most of their plays. Sometimes they do what I do and they just go in there to have fun using stupid anti-meta weaponry but it is really interesting because you get to play and control lanes with both incandescent and anything that causes a fiery perk or an explosion. So I was able to hold down lanes very, very well and force them where I wanted them to go. That's where this thing comes in really handy. I could stay back, disengage when I need to, shoot with my teammates, and if I do get a kill either by knife or by trip mine or by my weaponry, then anyone that's in that lane is gonna be damaged and they have to run for cover, which means you are then able to take over a zone. So the gameplay footage that you're seeing is raw, unedited footage. I'd like to do that so you guys can see that this is effective if you practice with it a little bit. And yes, my gameplay is very passive because that's the way a scout rifle is typically played. Um, there is some merit to using this aggressively and moving forward, but you're probably not going to beat an SMG, a fusion, or even a pulse rifle if you move too far forward. So I would suggest taking a lane, circling back to it if you're getting overwhelmed, moving in there with teammates, and just trying your best to lock down a zone so that you can go for the W. This is the weapon that you use when you want to go for the W in quick play. I don't think I could recommend using it uh, in Trials because of how Trials is run and because of how many... There's only three people there instead of six. So even if you got the incandescent perk to activate, it's not very likely that it's going to damage anybody. And the way that Trials has been played is usually people are very good at surviving, right? So they're just going to move in. If you do happen to get that one pick and somebody explodes, they're just going to run away across the map and hide until they've recovered and then they'll re-engage. Yeah, maybe you'll have the zone, maybe you'll have the area that you need to lock down, but if they revive their teammate and you can't, you know, ping them enough times to get them to go down, you're probably going to lose the engagement. So, not something I'd suggest for trials. Maybe in comp, I tried it a few times, it was about average, but in quick play, with the incandescent perk and everything exploding everywhere, this was worth my time, and this is not a crafted version, this is just the scout rifle with that perk. So you'll notice that a lot of people are disengaging me. Instead of engaging me, when they start hearing me, when they get pinged by me, they don't even try. You notice they all just run away. But that's good because then I have control over that lane, me and my teammates. And I have guys on this team that were very good at closing the gap, which is awesome. So step number one, use something. I use a hunter, by the way. Um, use something that holds down lanes. So it could be a smoke bomb, it could be the knife that explodes, the trip mines that explode. You can use this with Ahamkara Spine, the gauntlets that hold down an area. Anybody that's on fire, anyone that runs through those things are going to cause a double explosion. It's really awesome when it does work. You saw some of that in the initial gameplay clip. So, this was really fun. Yes, I'm dubbing this an anti-meta weapon or off-meta weapon. Um, it's about to become better because we're going through a hotfix today, I believe, that's going to cause a little bit of mischief with the pulse rifle users and people being up in the air. So this might be a really valuable option for landing people that are going to be jumping in through the air. Keep an eye on it. Definitely look out for this thing. All right, my dudes, the rest of the gameplay video is for you to check out. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, put them in the comment section down below. You know I love all you guys. Make sure you're keeping it zen out there. And my online course is probably about a month away from being completed and uploaded so that the people on Discord that are subscribing are going to be able to get it for free. So, 
I do have the Chronosense spreadsheet in the Discord, but it's a paid subscription now. I have a number of reasons for doing that. But what I want you guys to know is if you subscribe, you are getting this online course for free. The online course has to do with my master's degree, which is in kinesiology, and it has to do with posture, um, physical therapy related, not exactly PT. I'm not training you on a course on PT, but what I am doing is helping you guys get rid of bad posture. I'm helping you guys with corrective exercising and just things along that line. So yeah, I can't wait to show you guys. It's going to be awesome. And if you're a subscriber in my Discord, you will be getting this course for free on me. All right, dudes, thank you so much. Love all you guys. Keep it done out there. Shut them down. You're almost there. You're winning. Stay strong. Victory is all I ask. Good. Zones control. Targets eliminated. Nice work. 